Hi, beloved in the Lord. My name is Amy e. This is Heavenly Host Vision with Lydia. I'm so glad to welcome you to yet another prophetic word. May the Almighty God bless you and keep you safe, sound, and protected. They know what they need from you and will never let you go. Someone is willing to fight. Okay, Lord, we thank you very much for your presence. Oh God, glorify yourself in this place. Abba Father, sanctify this environment, anoint this environment. Lord, we thank you for your word. May your word, oh God, sink deeper and be ever and be made ever more sure in the lives of your people. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahushua Mashiach. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, beloved, for tuning in. May God bless you. And for those of you who've had issues with my face and my eyes, this is my natural face and my natural eyes, beloved. This is me. Glory be to God. <laughs> so please, this is how my eyes are. Why? Why are you post? Why? I mean, some of you are really so. I mean, come on now, take it easy. Take it. Take, take things easy. I love to be serious sometimes, but most times you 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 guys just want you 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 people just want me to 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 to, to keep playing and i don't want to play i don't i really i really do not want to play please this is i mean business god means business with his words in my mouth hallelujah so the lord was saying that they know what they need from you hmm? they know what they need from you they are not willing to let you go anytime soon they are going to fight they are going to fight to keep to keep you because you are so precious some people see you to be so precious someone sees you to be really really so precious you might not be having the sparks that you have in, that you that you've had in your relationship before but that doesn't mean that that's all beloved sometimes when the spark in your relationship disappears before you make a move, before you take another route, before you give up, be patient. Pray about it. Think twice. There is time for everything under the sun. Time to love or time to embrace and time, and time to refrain. Our God is not an author of confusion. Yes. If he had decreed a thing that this is what it's supposed to be, no matter what comes along the line, it doesn't mean that because you are in a relationship, you're not going to be tested. No. Every relationship goes through tests. Every relationship must go through breaks. And God will just begin to me and say, now most of you have gone, you, your, your relationship is being tested. But you've suddenly given up. Someone has suddenly given up because the relationship has been going through, through a, a test. And God is saying that he's restoring your relationship. Just be patient. Be patient. There is time to embrace and time to refrain. There is time to love and time to hate. There is, time, there, is, there is time for everything under the sun. There is time for everything under the sun. The fact that you are not feeling what you used to feel before doesn't mean that that's all about it. Or the fact that God is silent in your relationship this moment doesn't mean that that's all about it. When God is silent in your relationship, you know because that spark isn't there anymore. The communication isn't flowing anymore. The understanding isn't there anymore. That's a tell that God is silent. And he just wants you to, he, he wants both of you to, you know, to, to pull apart, heal yourself, and then bounce back together. Someone wants to give up in a, in a relationship that was, meant, that, that was brought together by God. God created a relationship together, but because of the lack of spark at this point in time, the Lord is warning you that it is not a sign that you should give up and give up completely. Just take your time and mind your business, do whatever I want to do, and let the other person take their time. But there's going to be that coming back together, and it's going to be really, really so wonderful. It's really going to be so glorious. God is going to God is about to mend your relationship once again. God is coming back into your relationship once again. All right. Please do not give up already. And the truth is that sometimes there is that that misalignment. Sometimes you might be in a relationship with someone and you're loving them at a particular time. 
Well, that's at that point in time, they are not they are not there yet. They are busy. I mean, they are busy focusing on something else. And when they are coming back to you know in alignment to to focus on you, you are focusing on something else. So in the relationship, there, there is that constant misalignment. But remember that there's going to be that common ground. You both are going to always come to a common, to always find that common ground to come back to be in alignment. God allows a misalignment so that both of you can work in other areas of your life. So misalignment in a relationship brings, it brings toxicity, it brings lack of spark, lack of communication and everything. But be rest assured that as time goes on, both of you are going to come back into alignment. And being on the same page again and loving each other once again and complimenting each other once again and doing things together once again. God brings that misalignment so that both of you can heal some aspects of yourself. Both of you can focus on other things on your, about yourselves. We are, di we are, we are multidimensional beings, beloved. And we are constantly fluctuating. Like we are constantly fluctuating within our beings. Sometimes we'll be in our heart space where someone is not in their heart space. And there is that just misalignment. And sometimes you might be thinking about something else. You might be in your head and someone is in your heart space. Sometimes someone, someone, someone might be in their, in their head thinking about this and you're in your heart, in your heart space. And there's that misalignment. That doesn't, that doesn't mean that that's all about it. It just simply means that, listen, wait, wait, wait. God is working in your, in your being. God is making sure he puts some things together in your being. And sooner or later, most some of you, sooner or later, both of you are going to be working in your head space or in your heart space. In being in alignment. God always wants that we should be in alignment. And when we are not in alignment, God is busy working other things. Listen, beloved, the heart is everything. And we are all mostly, we are all focusing on our, we want to be in heart space all the time when we are in relationship. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. You are not meant to be in your heart space all the time when you are in a relationship. We know that heart is everything. But when you're not in your heart space towards somebody at a particular time, that also doesn't mean that that's all about it. It doesn't mean that God says, no, it's over. It just simply means that God is busy working in other areas of your life. But the heart is always where God is coming to unite both of you. Look to God. Mm. If the spark isn't there anymore, God is telling you in John 6, he's saying that, in a while, in a little while, you will see me no more. And in a little while, you shall see me. The while that you shall see, the, this is why that Christ said you shall see no more. Means he's going to be working in other areas of your life. Glory to God. And you might not be finding a common ground with your person. It might feel like everything is just completely off. He said, in a little while, you shall see me. Means that when he comes back in your heart space, between you and someone, you're going to be coming into, into a full understanding. You're going to be, be loving yourself, talking and being in harmony within your being. Glory to God. And remember that when, God, when Christ comes again, to be in alignment with both of you, when you are in alignment, then, 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 then that, what I'm saying here is, when you are in alignment with your partner, Christ is speaking. Christ is available. At that point in time in your heart space. When you are not in alignment with at that point in time with at one point in time with your partner, Christ is busy working in other aspects of yourself. Because we are multidimensional beings and we are not meant to just be in heart space all the time. We check out to work in other aspects of ourselves. But even if you have fallen out of alignment in your heart space with your kingdom spouse, beloved. This is good news for you. There's good news on the way coming towards you. According to Mark 6, 22, the Lord said that I will come back and your joy shall be full. If you've had a relationship issue with your partner, a lot of you have not had, mm, had a common ground or been together in a space together. Both of you have been in, in misalignment. He's in his head where you're hard, meaning that perhaps he's focused on something else. You are forced on something else. You are saying something to them. They're not, they're not getting you. You are doing something. They're not getting you. Everything about you is just, is just offending them. And things about you are offending them. That's to tell that Christ isn't there. But he says to his mom that he's coming back again and your joy shall be full. This means that you are going to be coming back into alignment with your partner. And both of you are going to be having a common, 
common ground together and be able to laugh together, resonate together, reason together, loving together, and enjoying life, beloved. Glory be to God. Now, God is saying to you people this moment that, listen, the fact that you have fallen out of love with someone doesn't mean that's all about it. It simply means that you have gone out of alignment with, with your, your person and there's nothing you can do to come back if God has not dealt with some errors in your life. We are always focusing only on heart, love, 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 yes. Proclaim love even when you are not feeling it. Even when you are not feeling that love in your heart. It doesn't mean that that's all about it. It means that God, is, God has taken your attention to some other aspect of yourself to deal with those aspects aspect of yourself before you come back to being in harmony with your person. So, it's so painful when you're not in a hard space together with your partner. It's so painful when you're not in alignment with your partner. But let, let, don't, don't allow that to, to be a factor. God is to bring clarity. I should bring clarity into what is going on at this point in time between you and your partner. If I told that you fall out of alignment with them. Glory be to God. Christ is coming back again, coming back to you again. And you're going to be in alignment and your joy shall be full. Your joy shall be full. Someone is not willing to let you go because they, they have understood that that dynamic of being in alignment and misalignment with you and they are waiting, they are waiting for you. Yeah, or you are waiting for someone to come back in alignment with you and be in the heart space for you to function and doing things together. Glory be to God. It's so, it's really so, love and listen, it, it's painful when you are, you are in misalignment with somebody. Because no matter what you do, they will not see it. No matter where you are going to, but they will not see it. No matter what they do, they, you, you will not see it. There's going to be that misunderstanding, that conflict. Like, it's like there is no compatibility, but that's not how it is. God was just speaking to me this morning. He said, that is not how it is. The fact that you are out of, out, out of alignment with your partner, it doesn't mean that God doesn't want it. He's not an author of confusion. It just simply means that there is time for everything under the sun. The fact that you are out of alignment with him, it, it, it doesn't, doesn't give you, doesn't conclude, doesn't it, it give, it, give the right to conclude that that's all about the relationship. It's a matter of time. God is busy working in other aspects of yourself. And both of you are actually connected. You are, you are never disconnected, beloved. You are connected in other aspects of yourself, just, just, aspect, aspect of yourself, just, like, just like you are not understanding it. All what you understand is the heart space or the head space. But you have another aspect of you that God is busy working, working on each and every person day. And if he needs you to focus your attention on something, he takes your, your mind from your heart space and focuses on that particular area of your life to treat it, to focus, to focus on it and, and solve it. And then you can come back to your heart space. God wants that all aspects of your being should be in harmony, not just the heart. But the heart is the key. Heart is where God is. Heart is where things happen. If you're in heart to heart connection with somebody, if you're in harmony with somebody, leave it to God. If you're in that heart space with somebody, everything goes just fine. Everything goes just fine. I thank you. I hope that you've learned something from this message, beloved. That's why marriages. Some marriages last because they have understood how God functions, the, how God works in, in them. Most people have gotten that, that divorce stage because they have not understood that listing. There is time for everything. The fact that you were in disagreement doesn't mean that that's all about it. But just that when it begins to take longer time before you both of you come into that hard space, that's something else. That's something else. It means that God is saying it's enough. But if it doesn't take longer before both of you come into that hard space, then it is it. Thank you so much. God bless you and see you next video.